Health workers at a CHIPS facility at Esaman, Kakraba, in the Takwa and Swahili municipality of the Western Region continue to run a shift system with the Communities Information Center. Stanley Nibdo reports nothing has been done about the situation after TV3 Mission reported on it in February last year. Esaman Kakraba is one of the fastest developing communities in the Takwan Swayen municipality. It has increased population, but social amenities are inadequate. Access to health care, one of the 17 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, is not easy. <laughs> The community's information center also hosts a CHIPS compound. The facility, which is overstretched, has only primary health needs being catered for by staff. As a result, not all drugs can be administered. Provision of health care and the running of the information center are done on shift basis. <laughs> This has been the practice for three years. Drug peddlers are not ready to stop using the information center to market their wares, and this is affecting the operational hours of the chips compound. <laughs> In February last year, TV3 Mission reported on the situation, but district authorities say funds to decouple the chips compounds from the information center has been a challenge. The community, which depends on proceeds from the information center, could not help the situation. Isaman Kakwaba is not within the catchment areas of the gold mining firms, so the community depends solely on the assembly for their development. Municipal Health Director for Takan Swayem, Emmanuel Afelkum, is confident the Assembly would intervene. The future of the health sector is bright in as much as we are showcasing the gaps in service demand in the area of health infrastructure and the area of bridging the gap in geographical access to service delivery. And so we expect that stakeholders within and outside to see the need for us to improve on the infrastructure need of Takwan Swayam Health Sector. Municipal Chief Executive for Takwan Swayam, Gilbert Kenneth Asma, is hopeful the assembly would impact the people. The assembly will have to, you know, um, do a lot of projects there because they don't fall within the catchment areas of the mining companies, so they cannot go and, you know, do projects there. In spite of the challenges, health personnel are doing their best to save lives, but stakeholders would be required to do more to address the issues confronting the health sector. And as that for Mission, Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks so much for your time.